This is the moment in the course you have all been waiting for, where we're actually going to find some deals. I know it takes a little bit to, for me to show you the back end of things, but without that foundation, finding deals is just not going to be a successful venture for you. So I hope you've watched the videos before. If you still don't understand something, please go back and rewatch the videos first. The last thing I want to do is show you how to find deals without you being able to determine for yourself what is a good or what is a bad deal. So please make sure you understand that there are foundations you need to know, and once you know those, you can move on to this part of the course. So, let's get started. My favorite site to get started with when I'm finding deals is Keepa.com. You can see that up here. It's K-E-E-P-A.com. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is watch this video once, and then follow along with the audio in the background so you guys can start looking at it. Okay, so when you type in Keepa.com, you're going to land on this screen. Some things you want to look at here. The top, we have deals, track, apps, information, comment, search. The one I'm going to use is deals. You can sign in, log in, all that stuff. I have this stuff in. We're not going to do it for this video, but it's there. So what I'm looking at here, when I hit deals, it's going to show me price drops based upon the criteria that I select on the left-hand side. Okay, It shows me price drops on items from Amazon. And right now, this is set for Amazon.com. You can actually go in, and if you want to source from .co.uk, you could. You could search for many of those. If you are a UK student, you may want to do this for those markets. I'm going to be in the United States with English as a language so I can understand it. Okay, so over on the left-hand side, I can set choose that it's a deal type. This is if I want Marketplace New, Used, based upon Sales Rank, or Amazon. I always leave it on Amazon. When you do a little bit more advanced, you can do Marketplace New to try to find the differences between items that are new and items that are Amazon. Um, used could be great for like used books if you're trying to find those, if you're doing like the Zen arbitrage, or sales rank just helps you out there. Next one is limit drop interval. I have it currently selected on day. You will find out that day, week, and month are all great ways to look at this stuff. I prefer starting on day, working to week, and then going to month but that's just my personal opinion. Select ranges, let's click this here. You could pick your percentage drop, your um, dollar amount, the, the price range, the drop range, and sales rank stuff right here. So you can really drill down if you have specific things you're looking for, you can really drill these down. Okay, so we're gonna close that up. Let's look here, apply filter. You also have the lowest ever, lowest new offer, Risers, no drops. So if you want to see what items are going up in price, you can see that. Highest ever, the highest priced product ever, out of stock, back in stock, and you can filter adult items, which, eh, that'll be fun. Then we can sort these. We could sort it by percentage, drop, price, sales rank, or newest. So if you hit sales rank, it's going to rearrange it, and it's going to show you based upon the average sales rank on here. I hate looking at it in this view. I like to look at it by percentage. I don't care about a monetary drop. Yes, this dropped $2,000, but it's only a 29% price drop. It's not what I'm looking for. I like the percentage or the relative price drop when I'm looking at things. And you see here it's going top to bottom. If I flipped it, I could switch it for the lowest to highest, but that's how you sort those. So, before we start looking at the deals, one last section I want to go over. You can see here that you have the different categories. If you would like to focus on a certain category, you can actually short, sort it right here. I like to leave it as show all, but that's completely up to you. Okay, let's find some deals. So what I'm going to look at as I'm going down here are two, let's see, it's three different things I'm looking at. I'm looking at this little orange chart on the side here in the picture. This shows you the price history. It's a one month price history. So that's what I'm looking at to get started. I'm also looking at the high percentage drop. I like to source anything that's over 50% of a price drop. And I also want the price points 
to be something that I can make money off of. So I don't want anything that's 20 cents or 50 cents. I'm just not going to be able to make the money off of those. I want something that's more of a $54.99. So what I'm looking for is this nice straight line with a severe drop at the end of it. Or a thing that has very up, down, up, down, up, down. So this is getting close. You see a price drop, price spike, price drop, price spike. And you'll see this green line here. It shows the sales rank history. So just so you know, this is a one month sales history. You roll over this, this is 365 days. Okay, let's scroll down here. I'm looking for stuff that has a really long sales history here. Oh, I really like this. Here's why. You're know, going, well, Chris, you just pick something that's a bunch of crap. You don't know if you like that. Well, there's a few key things. One month sales price history. It's very straight. Then we got a severe drop. That means there's something that is going in a direction that I like. Price drop. So now we look over here at the sales rank. And the current rank is 756,000. You can see that in the little box that has popped up when I hover over that. That's where eh, I can look at it, but that's really high in rank. But I would take a look typically at something like this. The chart shows me what I want to find. There is a name brand I like, and the price point is in a good spot. We're going to pass in this video just because I know what the sales rank is by hovering over the green line. But, yeah, you can keep going down through here. <laughs> See this watch? It's too low, and then we have a price spike. So that 79% drop came off that high point in that graph. If I hover over this, you'll see that over the last 365 days, it hasn't really been that high. It's been down lower. So I'm going to pass on that. <laughs> what about this one? Catch with strike. Looks like we have a decent one here. It's not been around forever. It's had one price drop. I'm going to pass. So you keep looking at this stuff. Perfect example right here. Let's take a look at this watch. I'm looking at this chart. Pretty solid price history. we got one price drop. And we're back up and we're back down to that level. Look at the 365 days. It's been up. But I'm wondering what this is right here. So I hit command click for my Mac to open up a new tab. So let's go over here. We'll see the price history. It's been down at 100. Running at 353. Back down to 100. Been up. Uh, this isn't screaming wonderful to me. Let's take a look at it anyway. So we'll see there's three left at 199. Sales rank is currently 165,000, which can be seen right here. I'm going to do a hard pass. It doesn't fit my business model, which I know is a video above this, where you have your requirements set for what is a good or a bad item. So we go on, we move along. That looks nice. One big price drop. Let's open that. You can also double click or right click or double finger click on a Mac and open that up. I'm going to open it up and we're going to look at it here in a second. So we just keep scrolling down here and we look to find the things that scream, hey, Chris, look at me. That's it's really as simple as it is. I mean, it's not anything that is crazy hard. Now, when I don't like that price drop there, I like this graph. I don't like the 365 look there. Italian flag, we'll take a look at the Italian flag. I don't like the low price here, but I'd be willing to check this out. This watch, I do like that chart, and it looks like it has a pretty solid history up there. So we just keep going down. There's a bra, we're gonna pick that one up. Let's keep going down. As we just look, we just keep looking. Oh, Neil, oh, I don't like how that graph looked at all. That one, eh. I don't like it because there's been some very good history of it being really low. That is what I'm looking at if you're wondering why in the heck I say that. So we just keep going down. Like I said, I'm down to 50% is as low as I like to go on this. Let's see here. Big jacket. It's not hovering correctly, so let's open it. Brewer's pocket. Eh. Not sure I really want to do that, but you just keep going down. I'm not sold really like that graph. Well, I'll do a little bit of analysis here in a second. So you just keep going along, keep going along. Hip Hop Costume Star, look at that. Solid, solid history right there. Let's see what the current rank is. 
it's 40, that's going to be a good find. So that's how you go about doing this. So let's take a look here. Let's go to this chart right here. So on this chart, we see that we have a pretty steady history of about $37. The very end, it drops to eight, 825. Now let's look at the year view. There's only been one other time in the last year, and this was around May, June time, where it went down to 817. So now we need to check the price, or we need to check the sales rank history, which Kiba does not have for this item. And we're going to see what the sales rank is and what it was during those high points. And I clicked the wrong freaking button. So we're going to click show on Amazon. If you want to find deals that are close to this, you can do this. If you want to track the product, which we're going to go into in another video, we'll do that. But I want to show this on Amazon right now. <laughs> it's at $8.25. There's 11 left in stock. All the other sellers are up there. That's a good sign. Beauty, 568000 And my business model says no, no, no. So we're going to go ahead and pass on this. It's as simple as it is, though. Those are the checks you're making. Now, we got the Rasta in pasta, a flag tunic. In August 2012, this was at, or August 12th, sorry. This was at 648. It went up to 30 some dollars. Let's take a look at sales rank before we make the decision. It's in a million in clothing. That does not hit my business model. The graph does not scream profitable item to me. We're going to back off. See here, this has a big history there. That's about a mm, half a month down at that price, back up, back down. I'm going to tell you, you're probably not going to make a lot of money with this chart because it has a solid history of being down. And when it goes back up, it does drop back down. I don't like this. I want those little valleys here to be smaller if I want to purchase something that has the price drops. I want it to be small because that means it was either a mistake, a short time discount, or Amazon was testing prices and they wanted to go back up. So let's look here. I hate this chart. It didn't show me this when I was looking at it earlier. We got eight. It was in the eight dollar range. Now it's up to twenty seven. It's back down to eight. I liked when it was at eight, but my guess is it didn't sell very well up here. That's why they're bringing the price back down. Tommy Hilfiger. Let's look here. Back in November, it was at ninety seven dollars. It came back in stock here at 225. You could possibly play around with this, but it looks like it was out of stock and not being sold during this period. So let's take a look to see what the sales rank is. It's 6,134 in clothing. Not bad. Let's see what the camel 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 says. And this camelizer, I've shown you guys how to install it. It doesn't have enough data though. Let's open it up just to make sure, but this hasn't been around long enough for it to track the information. But we do have this. So let's take a look at this wonderful chart here. This is from September of last year to this point right now. When it was at the 250 mark, which we can see by this wonderful chart right here, 225, we were in the 300,000s in sales rank. Okay, look at that. It was during that period when it came back in stock right here. When the price dropped, shot up. The lower price, since the demand or the price has shifted, the quantity of demand is higher, so people are going to buy it more. Then it's slowly working its way back down. That was a one-time price drop. People are probably still buying this. They're just not buying it regularly in comparison to the other items in the clothing category. I will do a hard pass on this. I do not like the lack of sales history, nor do I think it's going to sell at the 225 mark for very long. 